So oftentimes the simplest strategy is the best strategy. And here's a really easy double strategy you can use to raise your level of play and increase the likelihood that you're gonna win the match. And here it is. Simply hit the ball to the opponent who is standing where you are standing. So if this is you, you're gonna hit the ball as the baseliner to the other team's baseliner. This player looks across and says, where should I hit this ball? I'm a baseliner. So I'm going to hit the ball back to the baseliner. That's why in doubles you see a lot of cross court shots because the, the baseliners are following this rule of hit the ball to the opponent who is standing where they are standing. Now, let's say this is you and a ball goes cross court. They're trying to follow this rule, but a ball goes cross court and it's a bit too close to you. You're able to cut it off and poach this ball. Now, what should you do with this shot? Did you say down the middle? Because down the middle is too close to the baseliner. The baseliner gets it and puts it back to the partner. I'm telling you, that's, that's what happens. Following the rule that you should hit the ball to the opponent who is standing where you are standing, when this is you, you need to fire this ball right at that person. Not that you're trying to hit them. You're certainly not trying to hit them. You're just trying to hit it to this side of the court. And if you hit it this way, it's a little too close to the baseliner. If you hit it this way, it's risky, right? So we're just hitting it kind of through this person, but to this side of the court, that person won't have enough time to react and you're gonna win the point the vast majority of the time. Well, here is an example of this exact strategy played out at high level doubles. Here is Stanford University and USC. I want you to notice the team on this side, the returning team, plays both back. And while they're playing both back, they keep hitting the ball to the baseliner. They keep choosing the correct person because they're both in the back, so they should both be hitting to the baseliner, which you see that happening. Then this player comes in, and now all of a sudden it's just cross court this way. And then watch what happens when this player poaches that ball and ends the point. Now, before I draw this up on the big board, be sure if you're looking for new people in your local area to compete against, practice with, or even find a coach who's close to you who can help you with these double strategies, make sure you use my link in the description below, playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. And when you sign up using my link, you get 50% off. All right, we had both back, which I'm a big fan of. I'm a big fan of both back in doubles. And the reason is remember, you're trying to follow the rule and everyone's trying to follow the rule of hit the ball to the opponent who is standing where you're standing. Well, guess what? If this is your team, you both have someone who correlates with you, right? You're the baseliner, you can hit to the baseliner. If you happen to hit to this person, this person doesn't have anyone to hit toward. And you might think, oh, they'll just dink it. That's not so easy. And a lot of times at the club level, not even the players we just watched, but at the club level, you'll often see them try to dink it, but they end up putting way too much power on the ball. And then you can easily come in and just like take it right at them. Because remember, you're now a net person. And now like who you, be, who you are changes. And you became a net player, so then you can hit it right at the net person. But I'm a really big fan of both back, especially if you have a really strong team or a strong net person. Just play bo both back and you take away their advantage. But you saw the serve come in, and then the ball kept going kind of through the middle, and this person kept hitting it, smart, it's their forehand, and the ball went through the middle again, right? And then all of a sudden there was a shorter ball. This player came in, hit it to the baseliner, and moved all the way forward. Well now, this player is not gonna hit down the line. He doesn't wanna hit it right to the net person. Remember, his job is to hit it to the other team's baseliner, following the rule of hit the ball to the opponent who is standing where you're standing. So then you saw a cross court shot, and then all of a sudden, this player moved. He's like, enough is enough. He moved right as the guy was hitting. He intercepted it. And that's when you see the ball right at that net player. 
Single strategy, double strategy, sometimes it's complicated and it needs to be sometimes complicated to really take your game to the next level. But oftentimes, if you kind of view your footage of you playing and you really kind of audit your level of play and your strategy, you might find out that some really simple ideas that you apply to your game will absolutely take your game to the next level. If you play doubles, go below, right? Click the like button, <laughs> make sure you subscribe to the channel, but also click the share button and send this video to your doubles partners, your doubles team. Make sure that you're all on the same page because when you start aiming for the person who is standing where you're standing, there is no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.